Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here. Today's anime review is Full Metal Panic the Second Raid. Back then, last year, which is probably back in 2019, even though I basically have been looking back on my previous anime review on Full Metal Panic series, which I think that was probably about, like, hmm, a couple years ago, I think, which is probably back in 2019 when I f reviewed particularly the original Full Metal Panic series, that one was made by Gonzo, particularly. So... We're here to discuss my review on Full Metal Panic Second Raid anyway. Full Metal Panic the Second Raid is basically a Japanese anime series directed by Yasuhiro Takemoto, which is basically the third Full Metal Panic series in the Full Metal Panic media franchise, which I believe is probably after Full Metal Panic Fomofu, probably, as well, particularly, of how this anime, of how it to explain what it is about this one, particularly it's given in the title, of how do you explain of what it is about Full Metal Panic Second Raid to to explain everything, because this anime series has lasted only about 13 episodes from July 13 to October 19, 2005, particularly. And yeah, that's just how it is, as it was. I mean... That's particularly based on the Full Metal Panic light novel series, especially in the two ending day-by-day -day novels, probably, of how the continuation on, every, on the fourth episode of Full Metal Panic's second raid as well, despite how it's particularly given in the things, particularly, to if anybody how ex wants to know about it as well. And yeah... So, uh, the thing about this anime series is particularly animated by Kyoto Animation instead of Gonzo. Because, you know, Kyoto Animation is known for their work on anime, such as The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, and other anime that are made by Kyoto Animation. And, yep, that's what I'm guessing as well, because I have a feeling. <clears throat> so, yeah, Full Metal Panic... The second raid is particularly animated by Kyoto Animation, which is the first Full Metal Panic series animated by Kyoto Animation on here as well. So let's review to the story and the plot, particularly about Full Metal Panic's second raid, particularly because even though, despite that I have looked back on my previous anime review on the original Full Metal Panic series, which it all has got to me because it was so true, which is particularly for the most part as well as of how I didn't know that this has gotten a seri Eket series in the franchise as well, of how I never knew that they wanted to make this as a 13-episode series rather than a 26-episode series, what Full Metal Panic Second Raid is. Well, that's just how it is what it is, as well, probably. So, I'm here to discuss about the story in the plot of Full Metal Panic's second raid. Let's start of how the story how it begins. Let's begin here. The series is particularly takes place half a year past since Sosuke Sagara took up the job of protecting Kanami Chidori and started living like a normal teenager for the first time after a former child soldier. His view on the perils of everyday life is highly unconventional for this part particularly and in the frequent need of violent adjustment. Konami can be only the, her, her endless assault will eventually get him used to normal life. Like, seriously, Konami needs to stop yelling at this guy, which is probably Sosuke Sagara, particularly. I mean, she needs to chill out. Otherwise, I mean, if she does that in front of a principal at the school in Full Metal Panic Second Read, I'm sorry to say this, but she could have just get sent to the office for hitting. I mean, what's going to happen to her? That's my guess particularly as well. Well, yeah, that's just how it is. Konami can only be how 
but only shadow looms over their happy days as Saosuke's employer, the private army called Mithril, is attacked by a new unknown army. Suddenly, outgun can be Mithril afford to keep one of their best prowling around on their, about their own whereabouts of the, the own alibi, what you see in Full Metal Panic Second Raid as well. Yep. <clears throat> Oh, and yes, Mithril is back, probably. But this time, they're basically the conflict center is in the setting on Hong Kong, especially where these weapon-dealing organization named Amalgam has set up the camp with their whisper technology across the river from Japan. Sagara pr still protects Chidori from capture. However, his ability to balance work as a bodyguard student and a mercenary, the ace Mer mech, comes under question by uh, the top particularly as well. And yep, that's just how the story is. I mean, that's probably after Full Metal Panic Fumofu's side-splitting hilarity. Second Raid is more becoming a shock in how the dark the narrative goes instead of a comedy way like Fumofu. I mean, it goes with the Mithril intervening in it and... Take over by a military dictator, followed by a couple of these episodes with some excellent comedy. If you either like it or hate it or not, it, this could relate to Sagara's fear of allowing someone so close with the scissors for a haircut. Uh, no, he tells himself that his story descends t into darkness, which is disputed probably. I mean, this started back in the first season in the original Full Metal Panic series. Like, if it's either a season one particularly, we'll come to the moments with my thoughts on the series in just a moment. I mean, the villains have some similar treatment. Gates, like a, the weapons dealer, has a mix of humor and craziness where he executes his henchmen on a whim of offended or some mere joke for this whole th turn of event ways of how the tw truly twisted aspect has is the twin girls must working under him. They have this creepy sexuality to them that speaks of psychology tortured past. Probably isolated from birth, what he always has, particularly. I mean, how does he do that? Well, that is the question as well. And lastly, of how the action goes, theirs basically has improved and more strategic than before, than any other anime has done from the very beginning. With technology to rival Mithril, the stakes are high on the streets of Hong Kong. That's the story. Full Metal Panic Second, the Second Raid is an excellent continuation to the franchise, but gives it a little more darker direction for a series like this. But yet, enough signature humor, and there's limits where to set. Agura is pushed, probably, of how to exp have these same old interrogation techniques of what you find in Full Metal Panic the Second Raid, probably. So that's the, the plot I explained about it. The art, however, is very high, like how this starts an upgrade in these visual quality from the original in the action department to give it a little more dark aesthetic to match the tone and greater detail for a nice anime. Especially the new mechs look more vicious, involved forms of venom, particularly in the art of how this goes for the most part. The sound, however, there are some great actors alongside a couple of new faces like... Naruto's Iro sensei as the villain is hilarious, probably. I mean, the Japanese people, despite watching the good English track with the Hong Kong setting, we hear of plenty of Chinese, which is probably in either version. It doesn't matter if it's either in Taiwanese dub, Chinese dub, or Italian dub, or English dub, or J the original Japanese dub. doesn't matter what sound it has. Especially the tense violin and brass orchestra brings the soundtrack for how this anime has ever gone before or since the story however the second raid takes it the series into a somewhat of the dark corners to the excellent effect of how full metal panic the second raid goes of this flawless dark aspect but there's some comedy and there's some moments to the offset weight most notably for especially from the villain in the series i mean the the flaw is basically the unfinished slight side plot with Tessa's brother. But overall, if you're a fan of Full Metal Panic, and that's the thing if we ever want to check this out, this anime is definitely you're in for, particularly. Like, have how 
it must be a must watch as if you want to know where's the final season but that'll be either that is the question particularly for and yes Tomokazu Seki who is from the Mobile Fighter G Gundam series is probably in Full Metal Panic series since then he has ever, any, any other anime has done before because he does the voice of Sosuke Sagara because he is basically voiced by Partic none other than Tomokazu Seki, who is the voice of Domon Kashu from the Mobile Fighter G Gundam series, which ironically, Mobile Fighter G Gundam is the more popular anime, which is probably on Cartoon Network on Toonami. But back to Full Metal Panic Second Raid, though. There is also the Full Metal Panic side episode, which is episode triple zero, which is like a a pilot episode that sets to the transition to the series as well. And there is also the Full Metal Panic OVA, which doesn't focus on the character Kaname Chidori, probably. which it, She does not appear in the, OV, the OVA um, under the Full Metal Panic Second Raid part as well. But I think that's probably in the OVA, but except for the 13-episode series as well. When I first watched this, I thought this was supposed to be like another comedy feel, just like Full Metal Panic from Mofu. But no, this gives it a more darker and more serious aspect, probably, of to give it how a little gritty, darker feel, particularly. Unlike most animes that have dark twist aesthetic feel, like many other anime in general out there, which I have been known in the past... Because I've seen more darker anime with some dark aspect feel since, which is, you get the picture, probably, just for the most part as well, particularly. As, again, several things is about how Full Metal Panic Second Raid goes. I mean, I first watched the series, I thought this was supposed to be like a 26 episode series, but instead, they want to give it like a 13 episode anime series as well as how it goes. I mean, when I first watched this, because I think I've watched it on particularly with the audio commentary in Japanese dub with, and there's some English subtitles for the commentary on there. And just to give a little hints here, because, and to give it, to, the safest way to find it is to be find for, as a, for a 13 episode anime like Full Metal Panic Second Ring, Safest way to find it as a starting with the first episode and a final episode by starting with episode 13. What could be more natural for a 13 episode anime series animated by Kyoto Animation instead of Gonzo? Because that is th just how it is as well, probably. I mean, sorry about that. I'm j again, several things is that of one of them is. Basically, they wanted to make this as a 13-episode series, and yeah, it had an English dub by Funimation. Oh no, AD Vision. It, the English dub was done by AD Vision, probably. It was released once on DVD by ADV Films, and then it was le released on D twice on DVD and now on Blu-ray from Funimation as well. So that's going to be it for my anime review on Full Metal Panic Second Raid for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts for this anime. When I first watched this, I really admired the, uh, the action and the darker aspect feel for this whole dark aesthetic that I've seen every other anime that has a dark aesthetic feel, probably, uh, particularly as well. But that's just how it is what it is as well. Again, several things is probably of how, I mean, sent things, that's just how it is as well. Uh, that's just me, that's how I expect. So, so I might give this a rewatch at some point. Hope subscribe for content. My anime pile link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook if you have Twitter and Facebook account and all the social media. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. Smack the like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave in the comments in the comment section below what is your thoughts on this anime. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuroniK95. Feel free to join the channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Keep it otaku for this anime review on Full Metal Panic Second Raid, because I'll give this anime a rewatch if you want. And I got another anime review coming up next. What we have for what's in store for today, what we have here. Stay tuned for my next anime review. I have another anime series that I have recently watched in the past for tomorrow's anime review on Uran High School Host Club. 
Stay tuned for my next anime review on Oran High School Host Club, because you won't want to miss another anime review.